everyone, my name is Yen and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm still going to be making a recipe. I'm going to be making my crepe cake recipe. However, I wanted to test out a new gadget. I've been seeing this commercial all over Pinterest and Instagram on how easy it is to use something like this to make a crepe. I love crepes, but I absolutely hate making them because well, I'm really bad at it. I'm not good at making those ultra thin, crispy, yet still tender and soft crepes. So I'm really hoping this machine here is going to make my life much, much easier. I am going to make one by hand in a pan and then make the rest with this to see which one is better. I'm really hoping this will win. That will make my life so much easier going forward. I hope you stay tuned and come along with me on this fun testing journey and let's see if I'm able to create a beautiful tasty crepe cake at the end of this video. Now let's get started. Okay, let's start with the chocolate crepes first. This is a super simple recipe so it will go really fast. In a bowl, I have 2 cups of milk. Now I'm cracking in 4 eggs. Give the eggs a whisk, then add in 3 tablespoons of melted and salted butter. Next, sift in 1 and a half cups of all-purpose flour, 1 fourth cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, and half teaspoon of salt. Cocoa powder can be very clumpy, so it's very important you sift it through a sieve for a smooth batter. Give the batter a good mix until it looks smooth. I did not add any sugar for this recipe because I will be adding sugar in the whipped cream. I prefer a less sweet dessert. But if you have a sweet tooth, feel free to add up to 3 tablespoons of sugar. To make sure the batter is extra smooth, run it through a sieve once more. You can see here how much unmixed flour and cocoa powder is left over. This is why it's important to use a sieve for an extra smooth batter. Okay, I am going to attempt to make a crepe in the pan. I want this crepe to be larger than the rest of the crepes I will be making with the crepe maker. So pour some batter into the pan, then immediately turn the pan. You can see here I didn't turn the pan fast enough. So then I have to try and smooth it out. This is a problem I have with making crepes. I can never get it very thin. If you have a secret technique, please comment below and help a girl out. You can see this one is pretty thick. So I'm going to attempt to make another one. And I want the new one to be even larger. Okay, second one still thicker than I wanted, but that's why I wanted to test out the crepe maker. So let's just move on. I've already turned on the crepe machine. Now I need to pour some batter into the bowl that came with the crepe maker. Now flip the hot crepe maker upside down, dip it into the batter, then immediately take it out and turn it right side up. You can see the smoke as the crepe is cooking. I left in the batter a little too long, so the crepe was a little thicker than I wanted. But all in all, that was super easy. Now let's try one more time, but I will only dip it in the batter for a couple seconds. You can see the difference between the one I made on the stove, which looks a little lumpy, and the super smooth, perfectly round one from the crepe maker. Here is the second one. It's thinner, but this time I left it on for too long, so it's a little too well done. Oh, 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 
Round three, I was too eager and tore a hole in the middle. Round four, I finally got the gist of it and it became smooth sailing for the rest of the crepes. While the crepes cool down, let's make the whipped cream. This is pretty straightforward. In the bowl, I have 1.5 cups of heavy whipping cream, along with 1 third cup of sugar and about a teaspoon of vanilla. Whisk until stiff peaks. To make the crepe cake, first I need to make sure all the crepes are the same size. With the exception to the crepe I made on the pan, which I purposely made bigger than the rest. Do not trim down that one. The biggest problem with this crepe maker is it's hard to make the same size crepe each time. Some are smaller than the others. But I guess that is no different than when I make them in a the pan, except these are thinner. Here I am stacking all the crepes together, then I will cut them into the same size. In a rounded plate, I am putting down two layers of saran wrap. Unfortunately, I haven't found a way to make this with reusable material. If you have any suggestions, please let me know down in the comments. To make the crepe cake, first lay down the larger crepe I made on the pan. Make sure it is pressed flat onto the plate. Next, add in some whipped cream and layer in your first small crepe. Then repeat layers of whipped cream with crepe until you either run out of crepes or you have filled to the top of the plate. After you have placed on your last crepe, gently press the cake down to compress it just a little. Pull off the saran wrap and fold it over the crepe. Make sure the larger crepe edges are covering as much of the last small crepe as possible. Pull and fold over all sides. Make sure the crepe cake is folded tightly in the saran wrap. Then place a plate on top with some kind of weight. I am using a jar of homemade strawberry butter. Leave the cake in the fridge for at least one hour. Are we ready to see the cake? Yeah. Yeah? Ready? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What? It looks like a UFO, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. UFO. Oh, I'm gonna turn it out. And here you go. Here is a crepe cake.
really does work and I will be using it again. If you're curious to know which one I purchased, I will leave the link down below in the description box. I hope you enjoyed this video and the recipe. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you can give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I hope you're safe, happy, and healthy. See you later. Bye! Can say bye? <laughs>